Hi everyone, the Arctic Nova Pro Wireless is a fantastic gaming headset, but you can get a lot of audio quality if you tweak some settings. So let's check what we can do by changing some advanced audio settings using different tools. So guys, the first tool we can use is the PlayStation itself. So for entering the audio settings, just press two seconds this big button here, and then we will have to move to audio options. One important thing, guys, is you have to close the GG software. Otherwise, the audio options here are not going to be, all of them are not going to be able to change. So let's move to the first one. The first one is the equalizer. So in this case, for example, it's focus, but you can change it on smiley, custom EQ. Here we can change to focus, bass boost, flat is the default one. It's flickering a little bit the screen, so I don't know if you guys can see that. Move to the custom make you for here for example you can just click once and then change all the values of the equalizer here you if you want to change settings here and you don't want to get all through the software you can change some settings here if you are in a game i would recommend you guys to change between 250 and 4k the frequencies these are going to give you a, a detailed uh, sound on the game so let's move to the game in this case is high and then we move to the active noise cancellation options which is on or you can activate or deactivate the transparent mode then we have the side tone in this case is off or you can choose which what kind of side tone you want if you want to low or medium i prefer to use the low settings but you can change it uh, as you wish and then we have the mic volume that you always want to leave it at the maximum so this was some basic and easy settings so let's move to the other softwares on the pc another easy tool that you can use for changing the settings on the steel series Arctis nova pro wireless is the dolby atmos as you can see here you have to activate the dolby atmos for headphones the one thing i suggest you guys to don't forget is the enable the dot me atmos for headphones here on the headphones settings on the sound settings on windows otherwise you are not going to be able to change some settings here as we can see we have four profiles here game movie music and voice i've made another video for the um, settings on the xbox headsets but this is pretty similar they are all same all the settings are basically the same so as we can see here we have four presets game movie music and voice so you can choose one of these depending on the scenario you are using the headsets if you are not okay with the set with the presets here and with the settings of the Dolby Atmos you can change one of the custom profiles and you can change all the settings as you prefer the most as I've been saying in another video typically you might want to change this spectrum let's say between here and 8 kilohertz for listening you are using the headset uh, in shooters on FPS now keep in mind guys that whenever you want to use and you're going to use the Dolby Atmos you have to close the still series GG software because that one is uh, whenever you install that so that software is going to create some routing and virtual sound devices we will get to that in a minute so this is for the Dolby Atmos so let's check the settings on the Steel Series GG software before moving on with the rest of the advanced audio settings of the Steel Series Nova Pro Wireless if you are new here please consider subscribing hit the like button and enable the notifications thanks a lot for your support now, as we saw guys we have different ways of controlling all the audio settings of the uh, Steel Series Artist Nova Pro Wireless but in my opinion the most important one is using the GG software so once you download and install the GG software you have this simple control window which most of these controls here are the same that we have seen on the base station itself let's start with the audio here you have different presets which are five so you start with a flat bass boost focus and whatever else and then from these presets you can start tweaking all the audio settings pretty simple but effective in my opinion so you if you don't want to mess around with all the settings on the sonar we will get to that in a minute you can start using this one and then you get pretty decent results if you've seen the video review of this headset i have covered all the other controls that you have have here i will leave the link in down in the description so you guys can have a look also on that but anyway let's recap quickly here we have the mic volume here we have the gain of the headset itself here we have the sight on if you want to listen to yourself and here's what kind of output you want speakers or streaming in case you are streaming and you want to run all the volume between the base station and the headset live mic preview so if you click this one you can listen to the mic and you can record yourself if you jump to some settings you have some power options here mic brightness of regarding the light of the mic bluetooth defaults over what is happening when you turn on or turn off the headset if the bluetooth should be enabled or not and what is going to happen whenever you connect the headset to the phone and then you receive a call and here you can choose what you want to happen when in the scenario here we have the screen brightness then here we have other power saving and the speed for the transmission and something else so this is some really basic audio settings you can just be okay with this if you don't want to tweak and if you don't want to change but in my opinion you can get the most of these uh, audio settings using the gg sonar so let's head 
head to the sonar and check some advanced settings over there. So guys, before going with advanced settings on the SteelSeries GG software, let's have a quick overview on what is going to happen whenever you install and enable the sonar settings. This is going to create five virtual audio devices, as we can see here, media, chat, microphone, gaming, and auxiliary. On these devices, you don't have to change anything except being sure that the audio enhancement is on device default effects because otherwise whatever you are changing on the sonar software maybe it's not going to be enabled here for the other settings i recommend you guys to don't touch anything here so guys moving back to the steel series gg sonar here we have a quick overview on all the settings as we can see here we have the master which is controlling all the false light except the microphone and if you click on this small gear here we can use and we can select the playback because as you might know the steel series sonar is compatible with other devices and not only with the steel series uh, headset here we can mute and unmute all the settings as we can see all these names here are the same names that we have seen on the virtual devices so whatever you're changing here is going to be reflected on the output of that specific device that you are choosing from the windows sounds all these settings here are the same except the media and the auxiliary settings because you can choose which app to route these devices in case you are streaming but for streaming i will suggest you guys to enable this one we will get to that in a minute so let's move on to the equalizer as we can see with the default settings here we have only five dots for the equalizer you can add another five dots for having and tweaking the most precise effects on all the sounds that you are listening still series have made some presets for the most famous games as called warzone for Horizon, gta and whatever else you might be gaming since the audio settings change from game to game i'm not going to give you an universal settings because that might be something that i don't recommend at all so you have to tweak from game to game for doing that you can add a new profile here by just clicking add new then just you, you can call it test or whatever and this is going to start from default you can add all your dots here as we can see and you can move on all on, on the frequencies now you can change this by drag, drag and drop one of these dots as you can see down here for the base for example or you can use this slider here as you can see this is going to change bandwidth of all the base starting from the 200 more or less frequency up to 20 hertz frequency the voice is going to change what you can see between 250 more or less up to 10 or 8 kilohertz if i'm not wrong and then the treble is going to change the upper mids and the high this is something simple that you can do just to tweak and to start tweaking and start checking if these settings are okay with the game that you are gaming or you can just click and drag and drop one of these dots here this will require a lot of patience guys so you have to tweak and tweak and again tweak so you are going to require a little bit of time for doing this anyway if you click one of these dots you can change here we have three values that you can change we have the gain you can choose for example zero or whatever else whenever you are changing these settings you have to type enter otherwise that settings that you are changing is not going to be applied so here we have the gain here we have the frequency in this case it's 30 hertz let me say we want 40 so these settings are going to be applied to the 40 hertz and with the q we have the bandwidth in this case let me say 1000 1000 is a little bit too much 1.00 that's okay so you can change it here the bandwidth of to which that effect is going to be applied or you can drag and drop as we can see on this one here and you can do the same settings with all these dots one thing that i will suggest you guys for the settings as call of duty and everything those kind of shooters is change the frequencies between the low mids and the upper mids those are frequencies that you might want to change in order to listen to bootstep shooting reloading and whatever else you can give a little bit of tweaking to the bass just in case to listen to those explosion effects and everything else for having the preview of all the settings that you are changing you can just select this one here test sound and then play back all the settings that you are changing so you will listen some sounds and you will listen those kind of equalizer applied to that sound so if that is going to be okay with you or not these settings are going to be applied if you have the standard cushions if you have different cushions as i have for example the wicked cushions i have to tweak a little bit more because as you might know that if you have different cushions the sound will be a little bit different here on this part here we have partial audio which is something similar to the dolby atmos usually i tend to don't use that one because i prefer to use and to tweak the equalizer but in case you are not satisfied with what you are listening with equalizer you can also apply the special audio you can also boost the volume in case you are not listening properly or the sound of the game is not that much high and you can use also the smart volume which is always going to keep the sound in that range that you can always listen properly to be honest i don't like the smart volume in none of these sub menus neither for media or for chat or whatever else because the sound is 
a little bit strange to me. So moving to the chat output, as you can see, is pretty similar as with the game submenu. Here we have the same equalizer, so you can change and you can tweak everything that you want here. Again, we have some presets here. Usually I use a broadcast, which is more or less okay with me, but maybe you want to change it. So again, you can change at the same way we, we did with the game output. Again, here you have the test sound. So if you want to test and listen to what is happening here, you can use this one for listening to all the effects that you are applying. Here you can also apply the clear cast AI noise cancellation, which is going to cancel the noise of the people that you are listening because maybe they have fans on the background or whatever other noise they have. So you can apply this one in certain scenarios is working perfectly for me and in other scenarios I don't recommend it, but that will depend really on what kind is the quality of the microphone of the other people. Here you can use also the noise reduction applying with a background noise cancellation is the same but this is something let's say automatical setting and here you have to tweak by your own. Here we have also the smart voice compressor in case you are not satisfied with the voice and the noise gate and all those stuffs that you might want to be using with a chat in case you streaming also with a child voice. Moving to the media menu we have the same exact thing also here the test sound you can choose between movie music on special audio in this case I have selected the movie immersion you can enable the special audio here because with the movies it's a little bit different so you might want to listen all those kind of sounds effects and everything that movies usually have you can choose between headphone mode or speaker mode in case you have route or media to be that on the auxiliary exit here we have also the volume boost and the smart volume again if you are not okay with this one you can add a new one and you can start from the default settings and then you can check it on your own the auxiliary mode is the same exact settings as the media menu so again here you can choose between movie podcast and whatever else if you choose for example movie immersion and you want to enable the special audio i will suggest you guys to to click on the speaker mode so that will be applied to if you haven't connected the speaker to the base station with a 3.5 millimeter jack then this one will going to apply to that speaker and then you will listen a little bit different here again also here you can test the sound and whatever else and the last menu is the mic equalizer so you can change all the settings on the mic here you can record yourself a little for five seconds if i'm not wrong and then you can listen to yourself with all the settings that you are changing here again as happens with chat settings we can change the clear cast noise cancellation which is that we are leaving that uh, noise cancellation to the ai or we can change it by your own i will typically start using the clear cast noise cancellation just to check and to record yourself just to check how this noise cancellation is being applied to your microphone and to be sure that everything is okay and it's not the voice is not sounding strange anyway you can apply uh, also here you can apply some equ equalizers uh, for example let's say we want a deep voice or less nasal or whatever balance it for example balance it is working okay with my voice but depending on your voice and depending on on your mic that you have you might need to change all these equalizer settings here so moving on the main page you can enable the streamer mode so let me enable quickly so by clicking here on this small icon here you can have some information on how still series is or setting up all these sub menus and all this routing anyway just to have a quick overview here you have two sliders this is what you are listening on your headset or on your audio source and this is what the stream is listening for example you want the game to be listening but you don't want the chat for example you can disable the chat because you don't want the stream to listen to the chat or you don't want the stream to listen to the music that you are listening you can still listen to the chat or the music but the stream will not listen to the chat or the music they will listen only to the game and you can do the same thing with a mic and for example you don't want yourself to listen to yourself but you want the stream to listen to the mic so you can do you can change everything on these stuffs here the sub menu of all the five virtual devices is not changing it's the same with equalizer the equalizer is still the same the only thing that is changing here is that you have two sliders for stream and for headphones for listening to yourself this is pretty similar to what elgato have done with the wave xlr audio settings so if you are familiar with that you are going to be also familiar with this one also here we can decide to route all this device routing to softwares that we are using for streaming and here we have the chat mix on you can change it by clicking once on the volume button and you can change the chat mix or if the headset is off you can change the chat mix by dragging with a mouse so these are some advanced settings on the still series gg sonar if you liked and found helpful this video about the advanced audio settings of the still series nova pro wireless please leave a thumbs up drop a comment subscribe to the channel and enable the notification bell thanks a lot for your support and thanks for watching